Ultrasound physics, emphasizing the effects of transmit power, overall gain, auto gain, time gain compensation, TGC, and lateral gain. Transmit power, also known as output, power, decibels, or transmit. The transmit power varies the electrical power applied to the ultrasound transducer and in turn varies the amplitude of the transmitted beam. You will see the transmit power on the machines, the Philips IE33, the GE Vivid E9, and the Siemens Accuson SC2000. Please pay close attention to the mechanical index, or the MI, in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Mechanical index is an estimate of the maximum amplitude of the pressure pulse in tissue. MI is computed from the peak rear fractional pressure and the frequency. MI is directly proportional to the peak rear fractional pressure in the medium. If the peak rear fractional pressure doubles, MI doubles. If the peak rear fractional pressure halves, MI halves. As you increase the output setting on a scanner, the amplitude of the transmit pulse otherwise known as the peak rear fractional pressure, also increases the MI. MI is also inversely proportional to the square root of the ultrasound frequency. As frequency increases, MI decreases. Due to square root dependence, the frequency has to quadruple, increasing from 2 MHz to 8 MHz for the MI to half. MI also indicates the possibility of bioeffects and ranges from 0.05 to 1.9. Thermal index is defined as the ratio of the acoustical power produced by the transducer to the power required to raise the temperature in tissue by 1 degree Celsius. TI is estimated by algorithms in the scanner, such as acoustical power, ultrasound frequency, and beam area. A TI of 5 means a 5 degree elevation is possible. Please pay attention to the soft tissue thermal index along with the mechanical index in the upper right hand corner. Throughout all three of these examples we scanned up to 100% output. Note that the overall gain in the images either increase or decrease according to the power setting of the ultrasound machine. Overall gain increases the amplification of the received echo signal throughout the entire image. An increase in echo amplitude results in brightening the entire image at all depths. The machines used in the presentation include the Philips IE33, the GE Vivid E9, and the Siemens Accuson SC2000. Pay attention to this image of the mitral valve. As the overall gain is decreased, the mitral valve becomes very hypoechoic, blocking out the image entirely. As the overall gain is increased, the mitral valve becomes very hyperechoic, creating a snowball effect. Again, notice how when the overall gain is decreased, the kidney and its surrounding structures become very hypoechoic. As the overall gain is increased, the entire image becomes hyperechoic. Turning down the overall gain for this thyroid image did not have as great of an effect compared to the mitral valve and kidney images. However, when the overall gain is increased, you once again notice this snowball effect. With auto gain, weaker signals receive more gain and stronger signals receive less gain. In the three machines that we utilize, the Siemens Accuson Sequoia uses the TEQ, 
the Philips IE33 uses the iScan, and the GE Logix P5 uses Auto Optimize. Many Sequoia machines provide ultrasound with the use of TEQ. This technology is a sophisticated signal process that utilizes patient-specific information to equalize gain and brightness. With spectral Doppler, TEQ technology allows the machine to adapt to each patient's own hemodynamics and instantly optimizes pulse wave and continuous wave Doppler. In a statement made by the Accusan Corporation, the use of TEQ is meant to immediately set the correct brightness and soft tissue for any echocardiography study, and the technology is applied before the image is formed. TEQ also eliminates the overgaining or saturation of echoes on images during portable exams when the ambient room light cannot be adjusted, and it allows echocardiographers to focus more on the patient and less on the system controls during the exam. Before TEQ, notice the grainy appearance of the structures in this phantom. After TEQ is applied, one can note a decrease in the overall gain, equalizing the weak and strong signals, creating a more crisp and clear appearance of the objects in the phantom. iScan, or Intelligent Optimize, is found on the Philips machines. iScan is a one-touch adjustment of the TGC, receiver gain, and dynamic range, and can be incorporated in Doppler exams by providing automatic scale and baseline adjustments. You will see an example of this with the Philips IE33. Here is an echocardiographic clip from the apical window. As we begin imaging, the overall gain setting results in poor image quality. After eye scan is applied, a decrease in overall gain can be appreciated. Please note that the artifact resulting from the patient's rib has no significance in the auto gain setting. Auto-optimize on the GE Logix P5 adds more contrast to the image. It makes the whites whiter and the blacks blacker. Before auto-optimize, again notice the more fuzzy appearance of the liver and kidney. After auto-optimize is applied, one can instantly notice a sharper image with defined borders and interfaces. Time gain compensation, also called swept gain and DGC. This modality uses each individual sliding bar to change the gain at a specific depth. The farther the TGC knob is pushed to the right, the higher the gain will be at the corresponding depth. Echo signals originating from distant reflectors are amplified more than echo signals originating from reflectors close to the transducer surface. TGC compensates for attenuation in the medium. Echoes returning to the transducer from structures situated at large distances are generally weaker than echoes returning from nearby structures. This will be demonstrated using the GE Logic P5. As each TGC bar is moved to the left, the gain at a single depth decreases. As each TGC bar is slid to the right, the gain increases at each single depth. Lateral gain is used to compensate for side-to-side -side differences in the image brightness caused by attenuation. The machine used to demonstrate this was the Philips IE33. Much like TGC, each lateral gain bar affects the amount of gain across the screen vertically from left to right. 